All right, I thought I'd show you the trucker box that we got going on for the uh, big rig applications. Um, this box actually mounts onto the frame of the truck with some clamps. You're not drilling any holes at all inside. And we'll get inside here and look at the inside real quick. Okay, I'm just going to start right here at the front. Um, this has a 2.5 gallon water reservoir. Um, we also have the PWM, which is a P150 current limiting. So wherever you set the current for the cell will stay steady or, or the output. If we set it at three liters per minute, it'll always do three liters per minute. I don't care if it's hot or cold. Um, we also have our 200 amp relay that's down here. That's also hooked into our safety module that's right over here. Um, we have several safeties in play in this system. I mean, it has a what we call a water level indicator and also a water level circuit that's inside here. And what that does is it always maintains the water level and, and keeps keeps the water from going too low, so that we don't have an issue with the um, water going too low in the cell. So basically, there's a, a floating device in here that will always maintain at least a, a, about three quarters of a gallon in the system, so there's never an issue. In case you'd forget to fill it up, and now you know a lot of these are owner operator, and also they have maintenance crews that, that go through the trucks probably every week. So if they forget to add water to the cell system, it'll automatically shut down, and there'll be an indicator letting them know that hey, it's something's wrong with the system, so they need to check it and, and come to find out maybe it's just water or pinched hose. Um, we're going to get to that. There is a pressure a safety switch on the system. So if the hose from the box to the engine for some weird reason got pinched or crimped or, or whatever, um, the system will, will shut off and has a safety feature for that. Um, we also have another feature. That this right here is a filter system. Um, this right here will filter out the, the gas and moisture out of the system before it enters the engine up front. And then it also has a, a return mechanism that actually this will never fill up with water. Water will always drain out of the filter back into the tank, so there's never a problem with worrying about draining a filter. Um, we also have another safety on here. There's a fan on here. Um, that fan will kick on in, in the summertime if it's extremely hot. Um, that will kick on at uh, roughly around 140 degrees temperature to uh, cool off the, the complete box inside. Um, this is the cell down here. Um, this is a, a three to four liter per minute unit. Um, we recommend about three. I mean, it, it just varies on engine size as well. Um, we also have a thermal unit. This right here is the 110 application. What this does is when it's extremely cold, this will kick on and, and keep the box at a, at a temperature where it won't freeze. They also have this available in the 12 volt system as well, where we can actually wrap hoses and cells so that there's no freezing issue. It also has another uh, feature on here that uh, when you hook this up to the ignition, um, it runs off of a current sensing as well as the ignition. So there's two safeties in play with that so that there's no accidental uh, of the unit on while the ignition's on. Um, that's pretty much sums it up for this box. Um, I just thought I'd do a video on this real quick and uh, have a good day.